graduation as you guys could see from the montages I was in such a rush before going there that I couldn't even start the vlog I was so late we missed the singing and the dancing but that was the little kid that I nanny for and he just graduated preschool he's growing up so quick and it was just so sad seeing him graduating but it was so cute and he was so excited so we just got done doing that and it's already 7 30 and neither of us have eaten anything and we're in different cars because I was rushing because I live like 30 minutes from here now since I moved so we're about to stop by Jay's house drop off his car so that we can just hang out in one car and I don't know where we're gonna go eat we can't make up our minds because yesterday was his cousin's graduation and we went out to eat afterwards and we yeah. went out to eat Italian and we're both still kind of like not full from it but like gross that by it I yeah, guess in a way because we ate too much so now we have no idea where we want to eat and nothing really sounds good. My guess is Sonic. Ew. Just pulled up here and I'm switching seats so I don't have to drive. But just in case, oh my baby, that actually hurt. I had my knee on the door and you pushed Sorry, it Sorry, I was supposed to be like gently pushing you. Mm -hmm. Gently, you literally pushed me out of the well, way. Here's the thing, okay, wait, I was in the middle oh. of a conversation uh -huh. with them. Um, just so you guys know that I wasn't exaggerating about being in a huge rush and not having time to do anything, I didn't even have time to put on a bra. So during the whole graduation, I was like this, so nothing would happen. And I would bend over to talk to my kid and I would just be like, hey, what's up, how are you doing? But I have it here, I didn't bring it with me. I just thought that I was, I was gonna have time to put it on when I pulled over, but I was there five minutes earlier and I mean late and they had already, I had already missed all the singing. And, 10 minutes late. No, I was there five minutes late and we missed the singing and the dancing and all the cool things, but I got my bra here. <laughs> I'm also wearing this dress for like the third time this week or three times in the last like five vlogs. <laughs> oh I'm embarrassed, this is not what I actually wore today, but I threw this on because I didn't know what else to wear. This camera sucks. There it is. Hey, that's a big old bite, sweetie. You just broke the noodle rule. Oh, Sammy. No, I don't care. You slurp it all away. So now that we're done eating and we're all full. And sleepy. We... And what? And sleepy, I said sleepy. <laughs> Yeah, he didn't say a word that actually made sense. So we made it to a mall to see if I can find some nipple stickers because I love my mom's nipple stickers and she told me that she got them here. And so I really want to see if I can find the same ones that she has. I know it's like a weird conversation to have with the vlog, but I tell you guys what's going on. So I'm here to look for that. And this mall just brings back so many memories because my whole childhood is pretty much inside this mall. We Mine's used to not. live right here. And was was it like that for anyone else? Was the mall, watch out, the hangout spot for like anyone else? Because all through my middle school life, the mall was the hangout spot. And we came here like every weekend. And anytime anyone wanted to hang out, it was like, hey, meet you at the mall. So it's weird for me to come back here because literally nothing has changed it's the exact same as it was and so every time i look somewhere i'm like oh that's where i did this and oh that's where we did this that's where i flirted with boys it's okay i, I was a terrible child yeah i know you were but yeah that's what we're doing now 
walked in, walked right out. I think I found them. I'm not too sure. I think I found what I was But I for. think I did. Jay's mesmerized by this car. They actually have a bunch of these cars all around the mall. I don't know why they put this around my car. <laughs> oh, it's so It's got the new car smell before you even open it. Whoa. <laughs> so we made it back to my house, and unfortunately, Samantha has to drive now. Because I don't want to drive home. It's such a long drive. It is. I have to now drive my car all the way over there so that I can come back at night. Ugh. This is our life now. <laughs> this is our life today. I don't this doesn't happen very often. But the driving. It's a lot of part driving. Of the driving is part of our lives now. Yeah. So we just got to the house and Jay's already laying on the carpet. Being lazy as always, excuse the mess over here. Don't look at that. <laughs> <laughs> but I am currently editing some of these pictures here from the maternity shoot and I remember that I told you guys I was going to show you some of them so I'm going to show you some of the ones that I uh, sent her already because I usually send my clients a few so that they can look at a little preview so I'll show you guys those so here's one do you guys think that those are cute? I think I only sent her five, yeah but I honestly think that they are so cute and every time that we do a shoot of some sort I just feel like we keep getting better and better so I am actually really proud of these pictures like every time I go to edit a new one I'm like oh my gosh this is such a cute photo so I'm pretty proud of us Jay is actually the one that takes most of these pictures actually I just tell people how to pose and I tell Jay if I like the angle that he's taking them from or not it's really, I think taking the picture part is the easy part like adjusting everything like what she does is definitely the hard part yeah, that's true. And editing them. And editing. So she does the hard part, I do the physical part. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I definitely want to get into doing this more often. Like, we honestly don't really do it much because we don't um, promote ourselves at all for some reason. I don't really know why. Um, like, all of the shoots that we've ever taken is because people either know that we take photography and so they ask if we can do it for them, or like someone will be like, hey, this person took my photos, you should contact them, and then they contact us. But we've never promoted ourselves. But today, Jay actually ordered some business cards for oh, us. So you want to show it to them? Yes, and they honestly look amazing i picked them out she picked them out <laughs> <laughs> so like two months ago we had talked about getting some business cards and i had picked some out and then i still had the picture so i sent jay that picture and then he sends me the picture saying okay they're ready to buy and then he sends me the picture of them and i just did not like them at all anymore like i didn't like the gray i didn't really like the font on it i thought that it looked kind of lame and just bleh and so jay actually bought them but I hadn't agreed to him buying them, so I was like, cancel them right now, I don't like them. And then um, I edited a new one up, and that's I like it nice. so much better. Look at that, don't you guys think that's so cute? At least I think that it's so cute. And the back is a cute little blue, the same uh, color as this font here. I'm not going to show that because it has all of our personal information on it. But I love it, I think that it's so cute. <laughs> and I'm really happy with them, I just don't know like what the heck do we do with business cards. We hand them out. We leave them at random spots. I don't think that's how it works. The thing is, we need to start an Instagram just for our photography. Which I I already did. I've just never posted anything on there, but I have it. It's called JS Photography Co. Like, company. I think that's what it's called. So you actually have one? I didn't even know that. No, yeah, pass me my phone. Check this out. It's right here. I literally don't follow anyone, not even myself. Wow. <laughs> it's just chilling there, waiting for the first post. Maybe I'll start posting some of the uh, shoots that we've taken. Maybe. This camera. Oh my gosh, we need to get this checked. We keep saying that. We never do. <laughs> I know. We're lazy. <laughs> well, guys, it is the end of the night. And Jay and I are actually going to watch a movie in our movie room that we actually yes. haven't shown in the vlog at all. I'm just not realizing. So this is what the movie room looks like. We have popcorn with the microwave, a mini fridge full of drinks. We have our big old TV here table and then let me show you guys this side we have two recliner couches here with a table a wine fridge and just some artwork that one actually lights up when all the lights are off and it looks super cool jay's modeling there for us and this is actually the first movie we're watching here did i say that already i yeah i think so oh i don't remember anymore i'm so tired 
but uh, my whole family has watched movie here, movies here, but we haven't yet. And we're gonna watch Mamma Mia, if you couldn't tell when Jay was playing it rudely while I was vlogging. Didn't mean to talk like that. But anyway, that is gonna be all for today's vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you haven't already, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. And we'll see you guys again tomorrow. Sorry. Bye! Bye! -bye.